Hello and thank you for stopping by to learn more about newspaperarchive.com. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about some new tools that we have been developing which together make up our new archive feature. We're creating a series of videos that cover the introduction of our archive feature and its associated tools so you can familiarize yourself with it and hopefully benefit from it. Expect some touch-ups and changes as we receive feedback and good thoughts and improvements from members and those updates will be added to the video series as we go along. Now in the second video leading into our archive feature, I want to talk just a little bit about the new profile page, a little bit about the treasure box, and how to update your profile picture. So let's get started with how to get to your profile page. And first, of course, we're going to need to log in. So here's our home page, and in the top right corner, we can click Sign In. That's going to take us to our login page. And then we'll log into our account. Now up here in the top right corner, it will normally say your name. Now under this account for the demo, I'm customer service. That is my name, which I'm going to click and get my drop down menu, and I'll be able to select the first link, which is my profile. Now here you're going to be displaying the workbench by default. The workbench is going to have a lot of different tools in there once we start collecting archives and producing clippings and, and start interacting with the content more and sorting our people. But for right now, just like yours, you're not going to have any archives associated with your workbench, so this is what it's going to look like, just like mine. That's going to come later on, and that's going to be in another video, of course, because there's a lot of other features that can be added inside of there. Now, let's go to Treasure Box very briefly, and you can click the Treasure Box tab. You're going to see there are folders in here. We can also display clippings in here. And let's go into Anna the Dancer and see if we can track down a clipping. There's a clipping right there. Uh, so you'll see your treasure box is going to be very similar to what you had previously. However, we've combined your folders and your clippings together to put them all in one place to make it easier. You'll also notice that you can click down through these folders up here in the main display, but then we also have a breakdown of your folders if you want to navigate down this way. So if we're down here in the Befuddle folder, uh, and I want to go back to the main treasure box, I don't have to click on the tab. I can work within my navigation there on the left hand side. Now let's talk about how to create a folder. So we're going to click the create a folder link and we're going to put in, oh, let's call it our elephant folder. So I'm just going to click create a folder. It's going to open up a prompt to type the folder name and click create folder and that's it. Now the folder is going to be created and now I can save things to that folder, I can move things to the folder, whatever I want to do with that folder. Deleting is obviously going to be the same. It's going to be either delete if you want the individual button or you can select multiple items by clicking the checkbox and you can delete multiple items here. So we'll click that and then click delete. It's going to prompt you to say are you sure you want to delete these records and you can say yes or no just in case you made a mistake or need to add or remove one. And now those records are gone. So if you want to say for example we're in Anna the Dancer and I accidentally put this clip in Anna the Dancer and I really actually want it to be in say the Befuddle folder. So I'm going to select it and I'm going to click Move Selected and that's going to open up a drop down menu and it's going to allow me to choose whatever folders that I've created and I can send it to Befuddle and just click the Send button and now my Anna the Dancer clip will go from my Anna the Dancer folder to my Befuddled folder. Let's open that up and see what's inside. And there's two clips in there. So now we're going to take this friendly family ghost haunting mansion and we're going to move that to the main section of the treasure box because I don't want it in my befuddle folder. I want to put it on the main treasure box page. Okay. Now we're going to go back to the main treasure box page. I can do that down here in this left hand link on the navigation or I can click up here at the top and that's going to take me to the main treasure box page which is basically your first level of folders and any clippings that you haven't filed or tagged within an, within a folder. So here's my link that I just had. Now you can also use the search bar up here if you obviously are going to over time generate tremendous amounts of clippings and folders so if you need to search for a person, a place, a thing, or a clipping that you've done you'll be able to do so with this search box. Now finally I'd like to show you how to upload your profile picture. So your profile picture for your account is right here on the left side under my profile. That's going to be viewable from maybe the clippings page. I'll open up the clippings page so you can see that on the side. 
and it's also going to be if you make contributions to others or if we want to go see other clippings that you've done or other people are coming to share, they'll be able to see what you've done. So here we have these kind of generic little placeholders until customers have uploaded an individual photo for themselves of whatever they want just to kind of give a little color there and let you know that that's available. And what you'll be able to see, we'll see Beverly Telfer here. And this is where your image is going to be displayed. So it'll just be a small little display that you can let people know who you are, if you'd like, or maybe put nothing there at all. It's up to you. Now to upload a new profile image, you can either obviously click change photo, or you can simply click on the picture, which is pretty easy. So something to keep in mind right now is the images for your profile cannot be more than one megabyte. So have a profile picture available that is one megabyte or less. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's click to open. And I'm going to choose from my folder selection, which is saved local on my machine here, the paper that says extra extra. I'm going to click open. And now I have the ability, if I want to move this up and down, if I want to move it oops, off to the side, put that in the center, and then I'm going to click Upload. And now it says Approval Pending. At this time, all profile pictures need to be approved by customer service. So initially, it'll have a slight delay, maybe a few hours, maybe a day, depending on when it gets updated and checked. And then you'll receive an email letting you know that your profile picture has been approved. That's it. Real short, real simple. We'll have more videos to come. Now, thank you for watching this video to introduce the new profile page, treasure box tool, and updating your profile image. Check out our next video on the saved search tool, and stay tuned for more videos coming on how to become an editor, contributor, follower, and other tools that we are introducing into the product.